I'm sorry, but I have standards. I've just seen something ever so odd. And if anyone thinks I'm going to pull my forelock and curtsy to this Mr Nobody from nowhere... Oh, Bryce! Not... Were you discussing Mr Crawley? Yes, my lady. Is it your place to do so? I've got my opinions, my lady, same as anybody. Can I help your ladyship? This is the button we're missing from my new evening coat. I found it lying on the gravel. But I was shocked at the talk I heard as I came in. Mr Crawley is his lordship's cousin and heir. You will, therefore, please, accord him the respect he's entitled to. But you don't like him yourself, my lady. You never wanted him to You're come You're sailing here. perilously close to the window, Brian. If we're to be friends, you will not speak in that way again about the Crawleys or any member of Lord Grantham's family. Now I'm going up to rest. Wake me at the dressing gong. I don't think that's fair, not here in the servants' hall. I agree. If she was a real lady, she wouldn't have come down here. She'd have rung for me and given me the button, that's all. This isn't her toe true. We can say what we like down here. Who says? The law and Parliament. There is such a thing as free speech. Not when I'm in charge. Don't push your luck, Thomas. Now, tea's over. Back to work. You'd better take this. Friends. Who does she think she's fooling? We're not friends. No? No. And you're not friends with the girls, neither. We're servants, you and me. And they pay us to do as we're told. That's all. Why does Mr Carson let you do that? Because my dad was a clockmaker. Did you really ask him for the job with the Crawleys? I'm sick of being a footman. I'd rather be a footman than wait on someone who ought to be a footman himself. But Mr Carson shouldn't have told Bates. How things with Lady G? Same as usual. Yes, my lady, no, my lady, three bags full. I'd like to give her three bags full, preferably on a dark night. Will you hand in your notice? And let her ruin me with a nasty reference? Oh, I think not. I've written to your mother. She's very anxious, naturally. She suggested coming over. Oh, God. Yeah, well, that's what I thought, so I put her off, told her to come and admire the baby. I'll just go and run your ladyship's bath. Thank you, O'Brien. Oh, have you had any answers about the position? Quite a few. So what do they sound like? There's one I think has real possibilities. She learned to do hair in Paris while she was working for the ambassadress. Oh, oh, that sounds promising. Oh, Brian. How long do you think it takes a lady's maid to settle in? Depends on the maid, my lady. Of course it does. Oops. Sorry. The other half's under the bath. Never mind. Thank you. I'll just go and sort out your clothes. Okay. Thank you. O'Brien, this is not who you are. My lady, if you could just wait. The doctor's gone, Your Lordship, but he's coming back after dinner. Lady Mary's with her now. Thank you. I don't suppose you'll want to change, but is there anything else I can do to be useful? It was a boy. I'm sorry, I don't mean to embarrass you. 
I'm not embarrassed. I just wish you could have been spared this. <laughs> I know you'd. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, Anna's told me what she learned in London. Has she? She's not told me. Oh. Well, the good news is you won't be leaving Downton. And I need some good news today. I wish you'd come inside, my lady. No. People mustn't think I'm really ill. They don't want to cast a dampener on the party. Very well. But are you sure you have everything you need, my lady? Dear O'Brien. How sweet you are. O'Brien! Oh, O'Brien. Oh, Can I have a word? I need a favour and I don't want to bother Lady Grantham with it. Certainly, my lady. She's been helping me find a new maid and we've had quite a few answers from her advertisement. Can you find where she's put them and get Branson to bring them to the Dower House? Her ladyship was helping you find a new lady's maid? Yes. We should have asked you, really. You might take a look at the letters if you have a minute. There's one we like the sound of who'd been trained in Paris. Do you know where she might have put them? The answers? Oh, yes, my lady. There are only two or three places they could be. Oh, thank you, O'Brien. You're a treasure. Thank you. <laughs> 